All right, so we've done a handful of these animated background tutorials, and we're gonna continue to build on these techniques with three more animated backgrounds right here instead of After Effects. Hey, what's going on, internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. So the animated backgrounds in this tutorial are from our 200 animated background pack for After Effects, which comes with its own extension right here. Um, and these also work in Premiere Pro as well. But in this video, we're going to break down these three specific animated backgrounds. And what's great about these backgrounds is that you don't have to create the same exact one I'm creating. You're going to be able to create you know, different variants of it. So you can change directions, you can do uh, different shapes. There's a lot of cool techniques in the video that allow you to create the background that you want specifically for your video. So we're gonna jump into our tutorial and we're gonna get started on our first technique. And as always, you can download our project files for free if you wanna follow along. For our first background technique, we're gonna create something that's very easy, but gives you a lot of flexibility, which is gonna be this repeated line background that comes in from the center. It's really easy to do this. All right, so here we are in a blank composition. What we wanna do is go to layer, new, solid. And what we'll do is go to effect, generate, and we'll grab radio wave. And what you'll wanna do here is take your background and move it forward in time. And you'll see you'll have these lines, these radio waves in here. You can extend the out point of the layer. All right, and what we can do with our effect here is go to the polygon tab and where it says sides, what we can do is bring this down. And what's gonna happen is you're gonna get unique shapes here. So we go to like four, you'll get like this diamond type shape here. You can check on star, you get a bunch of different looks. So play with those sides, you can get a unique look so you don't have to just use the one that I'm using. You can increase the curviness size by a little bit here. And you know, that's a pretty cool technique there. Kind of round that out and that's cool. And then we'll come here to the bottom where it says stroke. You can change the color to whatever color that you want. And then also you come here to start and end with, and we can increase the size of this. So we can set the start to maybe 15 or 10 and the end to 15 as well. And you get these a little bit more uh, thick. And you know, as we run through this, you see kind of phase out towards the edges and that's really cool. But another technique we can imply here to bring more color to this is we go up to layer, new, solid. And for this, we can select any color that we want. And I'll select a very nice dark blue color here. So dark colors usually work really good with animated backgrounds and click okay. And we'll move on here, bring this layer underneath our uh, line layer of radio waves and boom now we have an animated background here with a little bit of design now the one thing you'll probably want to do is bring in titles or graphics and maybe it doesn't blend well together so you know always stick with the darker side so maybe this white is a little bit too bright for this so we can bring this down and gray it out and it looks good uh, another thing we can do for all of our background layers is we can go up to layer new adjustment layer and we'll go to effect noise and grain and we'll add noise to this and we'll set this up to like 11%, uncheck use color noise. And you know, that just it makes it a little bit more authentic, uh, adds a little bit more texture and characteristics to it. So I really like that grain effect on there and we'll use that for the rest of the background. All right, and before we move on to our next technique, I wanna give a huge shout out to our 200 animated background extension right here for After Effects. All right, so this is our 200 animated background pack right here for After Effects in its own extension. And what you can do here is preview 200 animated backgrounds before you apply what you're looking for. And we have a handful of awesome backgrounds in here and it's just a lot of fun to use. And when you find a background that you wanna use, you hover over it and you click on apply. And now we have an animated background in our composition right here in After Effects and we can go into that composition and there's a control layer that we can click on and quickly change the colors of everything. And back in our main composition, everything is updated. And now we have a full composition in here with our animated background, a lot of fun to use. If we don't like this background, you know, we can try out another one really quick, you know, and perhaps we like this animated background better with our title as a white title. So you have a lot of different options here. You can change the colors um, and easily find a background that works best for your project, for any After Effects project you are working in. And our titles in this tutorial are from our 100 title pack as well so we have a handful of other packs on our website that you can add into any of your after effects projects with a click of a button and to easily adjust those templates to fit whatever you need them to do so if you're looking to save a tremendous amount of time by not having to create your own animated backgrounds i will link that pack below along with several of our other packs if you do pick up anything off our website you will be supporting our channel so thank you very much all right so for our next animated background we're going to create this zigzag line that you can animate in any direction that you want it's nice and repeated and really cool so we'll come here to our blank composition and this time we'll grab the pen tool click on the word fill let's make sure that's that's none click ok click on the word stroke set that to solid color and click ok and we'll use a very high stroke count up here and what we're going to do is come here to the you know halfway our composition here and hold down shift on keyboard to click a point make sure shift is held down and click a point straight across so you create a straight line like this and it has to be with the pen tool and what we're going to do is open up the shape layer 
come here to add and we're gonna add a, a zigzag which is right here at the bottom and what we're gonna do is open up the zigzag tab and we're going to increase the size and this is how thick you want your zigzags to be you can also come here to ridges per segment and lower that down if you want you can also set this to smooth you get a really cool unique look here so it's really up to you how you want that to be used a lot of options all right so with that in place what we want to do is come here to add and we're going to add a repeater to this and we'll open up repeater one and we'll come here to transform repeater one we'll set the x position right here to zero and we'll bring down the y position and there's that and increase the number of copies to a very high number you know for however long you want this to go on for so just right there and what we can do is bring this layer up so boom now we have this repeated uh, line in here all right and by adjusting the settings that we just used go ahead and get the look that you want and when we're done here what we do is hit R on keyboard for rotation and we can rotate this in any direction that we want and reposition uh, where this layer is going to be at so I can put this right here um, if you know you might need to make that line a little bit longer uh, if you're having any trouble but this looks great and when you find the rotation that you want you'll just hit PDR on your keyboard for position and you'll add a keyframe for that and you can move forward for however long you need this to be and you just simply animate it in the direction that you want it to go in so you know there's that and of course you increase the number of copies uh, so everything looks good now the thing we can do here is colorize this of course so we'll go ahead and grab a color that we like and what we'll do is go to effect perspective and we'll grab a drop shadow and we'll go ahead and select that same exact color and what we'll do is we'll increase the distance by a little bit and as you can see, we're going to get a three-dimensional look here on our background. You can play with the direction depending on what angle you chose. And, you know, there's that. That looks pretty cool. And then we can go ahead and create another solid. And we can go ahead and select any color that we want for our main background color. And make sure it's underneath. And boom. And with a little bit of noise, your animated background is going to look great. You can put your title on there or any of graphics. And now you have a really cool animated background. So for our last animated background, we're going to create this one that's great for titles uh, because you have this nice opening here and it's going to be really fun to do. So here we are in tutorial composition and we just have a background in here. What we want to do is grab the rectangle tool and click on the word fill. Make sure that's set to solid color. Click OK and turn off the stroke. And what we'll do is we'll just draw out a rectangle like this. OK, so what we're going to do here is we can change this color to maybe a lighter version of the background here so a little bit like this and that looks great and what we'll do is open up our shape layer go to add and we'll add the wiggle paths to it and we'll come here to size and we'll set this to 150 and we'll come here to detail and we'll set this to 5 and we'll come here to this points and we'll set this to smooth and you get this very nice wavy uh, shape here and that looks great and we'll come here to the wiggles per second and we'll set this down to 0.5 so it'll be nice and slow and you know we can bring this down and by a little bit and if we scrub through here boom we get this nice wavy background here and that's cool and we'll also come here to effect perspective and we're gonna grab a drop shadow and what we'll do is we'll make sure the direction is pointed upward zero degrees and we'll come here to softness we'll go ahead and increase that by a little bit and increase the distance by touch and make sure that's nice and soft there so you'll get this nice little drop shadow here this little separation and that's cool all right so then what we'll do is we'll take our shape layer and we'll go to edit duplicate and all we're gonna do is bring this one downward awesome and what we'll do here is we'll change the color and we'll make this a little bit lighter so we're creating multiple layers here and that's awesome and if you want what you can do is go back into the contents go to the rectangle one go to the wiggle paths and just change the random seed so you get a little bit of a nice difference in there and you can change some settings there if you want it to be you know a little bit different all right so now what we're going to do is we'll take our two shape layers here and we're going to duplicate them all we're going to do is bring these layers up and we'll bring this down by a little bit and you'll see just by duplicating them you can just do this at the top as well and one thing you'll need to do is change the direction of the drop shadow so go ahead and set that to 180 degrees for both of those duplicated layers and then you'll be good to go and once again we added the noise into our background and this background is great for you know putting titles in here because you got like a really dark center and then have a nice brighter you know outside so i really like this background for titles so that is our tutorial on these three animated backgrounds right here instead of After Effects. As you can see, you can create a handful of different variations of this so you don't have to have the same exact one that we created here in this tutorial. So hope you found this tutorial helpful. And if you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are below and always be creating.